Gazer Gazer in the building. So listen, I'm going to keep this shit going. This is my second video in the past 10 minutes. And I'm posting all this shit on Patreon. I'm going to just flood y'all with these vids. I don't know when I'm returning to YouTube. Obviously, I'm a completely different person. I don't even, like, recognize myself, that spiritual person y'all see on YouTube no more. Because he was just spoiled and he didn't go through nothing. He haven't experienced any real pain. And he was just spoiled. Listen to me. I want to tell y'all the truth about the Anunnaki's. Um, for the past three years, I didn't really know shit about the Anunnaki's just from what I read. But I wasn't able to tap into their frequency or their energy. I want y'all to know the Anunnaki's don't give a about us at all. The Anunnaki's don't care if you black or white. They don't care if you don't have the knowledge, if you don't know what you need to do as far as like life after death. Because that's all that matters. Having a knowledge of what's going to happen life after death. Because your body, your astral plane your astral body or whatever you want to call it, you have another fucking body that's not physical that you need to be tapping into right now. But you probably don't know this because, bro, we stuck in a, we in a matrix. Like, we got so much distractions. How can we focus on ourselves? Nigga, they put us in school at age four. They made sure we couldn't focus on nothing that have to do with our imagination or ourself. The Anunnaki's don't give a about humanity or saving humans or saving kids. Or stop it or all do Anunnaki is simply at war with some beings that's here. They operating on the astro plane. They got technology they can shape shift and I'm not gonna say the names because it's more than just them. It's a big huge war going on, but technology. It has nothing to do with saving humans. The Anunnaki's is simply trying to stop the growth of high advanced technology that is destroying the growth of human consciousness. Humans will forever keep coming here. they like bugs. It will always be billions and billions of humans getting recycled, reincarnated into the matrix. Duh. If they was going to bend, stop. If they was going to bend, if they been was going to do something, they would have been did it. If they was been going to save your ass because you conscious and woke, they would have been did it. Do you get what I'm saying? It is a war for technology. AI. And this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. When I be saying AI, it, you got to stop thinking like a human bot don't look at ai as some like phone or wi-fi shit look at ai as its own consciousness nigga it's even you bro the technology the ai shit is even in your dreams the fourth dimension how the f is even able to tap into your dreams the technology that they are using is slowing down the growth of human consciousness. Humans is not able to communicate with each other no more in person. You got all type of new depressions, anxieties, people changing their genders by oh, like it's the, the the growth of human human consciousness is not growing it's stopped right now and what y'all have to understand is this all these motherfuckers go around conscious talk about oh regular that's the ships bro it's more it do you know it's all type of different different beings up there it ain't just the anunnaki's and they working together i hope you know this and some of the beings that the anunnaki's work for don't like black people they don't give a f about us all this melanin and all this shit that y'all pushing. It's all 3D matrix shit. Because these niggas don't care about y'all. And this is what I'm trying to tell you. If your ass got abducted right now, you will be nothing but a slave for them. You will be fighting their war. Motherfuckers want to get it done. I'd rather fight. Nigga, the ultimate escape is death because you can't die. That's an illusion. The only way you can get out of this shit is when your soul leaves the physical. If you get abducted by some Anunnaki ships or all this cloak technology that you see up there, you're just going to be in another matrix fighting another war. They might give you a little bit of past life memories or something. They may let you remember your last past life or something. They may show you all type of shit, but they ain't. They don't care about you, bro. You are just a tool for them. All this Anunnaki shit, I guarantee you a person watching this and they don't agree with me, it's because of a book that they read, not from what they experienced. They reading books. These niggas is bookies. They reading books. Which means another man is controlling their whole perception on life and what they think about some shit that they could tap into at will. Man, y'all better watch these videos because I want to, when I talk to y'all about these other beings and y'all start putting two and two together, y'all will understand and overstand. Everything that was pushed to the conscious community is a fucking trap. The only thing you need to know is what's going to happen when you die. You can go and do all type of nature. You can go and eat you some fruit and vegetables, bitch. You can go get you some sun. But what's going to happen when you die? Where do you, where are you going to go? Where you belong? Because this shit can't go with you.
Huh? You need the knowledge. You need the energy. You need to be tapping into your astral form at will. Your ship. You have your own ship. Why would you want to get abducted by some motherfuckers that's fighting a war in the Matrix when you have your own power in your own ship? When you can travel to boundless universes and universes and do whatever you want, bro. I'm trying not to make this shit sound too 3D, but bro, the Anunnaki's don't give a fuck about humans and saving and stopping children and child trafficking. No, they don't care about that. They only care about the growth of human consciousness. That's it. Period, point blank, simple. If they can stop this internet shit, they will. And internet ain't even bad. Like, y'all, you able to connect with, you have more technology than most of your ancestors had. They didn't have none of this shit. You could connect with anybody all around the world at will, like this. The Anunnaki's will give you some technology that will help you remember your past lives. They will probably show you all type of different shit and you will think they gods or way above you. But in reality, they just showing you some shit that you're supposed to already remember. And I'm not downing the Anunnaki's. These is my ancestors. Everybody is my ancestors. I'm connected with everything. I don't know about you, but I'm, bro, if you are a part of consciousness, if you operating on the same consciousness, then we connected. Because, bitch, that's the only way I'm talking to you right now is through consciousness. That's what I am. When I leave this motherfucker, now that's a different story. But I'm still traveling through consciousness. But listen. The last thing I'm going to say is this, all this stuff. The Anunnaki main job is to take care of Mother Earth. Just like you got cells and blood cells and all type of stuff that's fighting bacteria. and You got a natural immune system. That's You got a whole universe inside of you that's working for you. Mother Earth, which is the not this 3D shit. I'm talking about the higher dimensional Earth. Not this bullshit that you see, nigga. Nature don't look like that. I'm talking about on the astral plane, higher dimensional Earth. Not this illusion. So, be to wrap this video up, it's two reasons why the Anunnaki's are here. And specifically the Anunnaki's. Bro, it's infinite beings that y'all just don't even know the names of. The, obviously, the fucking, these people that's operating, the interdimensional beings that run this matrix that's operating in the astral realm, they gave y'all all these books and shit to read and to take over your imagination so you could think somebody is going to save you. And this is why y'all constantly see how this world is. The Anunnaki is here to stop the, the the downward spiral of the growth of human consciousness. They trying to raise human consciousness and keep it going. Because if our consciousness don't get raised, then this earth will just constantly keep destroying itself off our energy. They are fighting to keep our consciousness raising to the right vibration. That's what the Anunnaki's is to Mother Earth. They make sure shit is straight. But it's also different energy up there that they are fighting that's making sure shit is not straight. You also have beings that's on land that's making sure shit is not straight. It is a, just like it's a war here. Y'all got all these motherfuckers fighting these physical wars as above, so below. It's a perfect reflection of what's happening in the spiritual realm. And I'm trying to tell you, most of these physical wars on a physical, these is all NPCs and not organic beings. They have artificial, they have, I ain't gonna, that's a whole nother vid. See how I was about to get dragged to another vid? That's a whole nother vid. But the Anunnaki's are simply here to keep the level of human consciousness going, not to save any human from dying or all this shit that y'all think dying. No, that's why they don't care about you for real. Like, look at them as like Wakanda. Nigga, if you don't know their technology, if you don't know they there, you would never know. If you can't tap in, you would never tap in. Simple. And they here to keep Mother Nature going. But anyway, I'm going to talk to y'all.